the master bath. Got a video when the house opened of Mason sitting here in his hot tub. You can see what's hot tub's still in pretty good shape, pretty big. That's all the uh, gizmos, controls. It's pretty much complete. The pump and everything are there. The controls, somebody opened up the box and smashed them. Water used to run down this thing. So it's left to the ceiling fan. Here's the sauna. And this is that bathosphere thing that uh, you can go in there and simulate just about any type of climate weather. I'm surprised nobody smashed it. It's got lights. There's a control panel. You can make water come out of just about any opening in this thing. You can simulate a hurricane or a little rain shower. Of course, a warm rain shower. Here's the uh, toilet that I guess nobody wanted to be used, so they closed it off with wood. Still there. Some neat underneath of the uh, tub. Sauna. This is pretty cool. Switching to night mode for this for you guys. This is the back that tub enclosure. And you can see some of the structure of the house. A close up of the electronics of the tub and the tub itself. We're going to go out, not through the master bedroom, but through the little office adjacent to the master bedroom. Sliding glass door has been smashed. If any future explorers come here, just be real careful. There's like wasps nest all over the place now. This is the closet that I found on my last visit. This is pretty cool. Because it actually shows you the innards of the house. some stucco supplies left over from when they were building. And this is pretty neat. This is the actual dome. And you can see it just goes up almost to the second floor. There's some electronics. and some more wasps. And you can almost see how the domes kind of just fitted together one on top of the other. And then here you've got conduit and things. There was some air conditioning equipment that somebody ripped out here. So there's wires and duct work everywhere. There's a back side of the office dome. If I can find it. Uh, there's some, some of the house electronics still in place. But there's a place in here where you can actually see where somebody wrote some dimensions. I don't know if it was workers or, or who it was. Or maybe it was in the other little cubby hole. I'm 
if you can see where I'm shining my flashlight, but that just goes all the way to the upstairs. You could literally crawl up there. It's a nice little crawl space full of ductwork, pipes, and whatnot. And this is the main dome bubble that you're looking at here. And this is the office bubble. And there's another one just sitting on top of it. Okay, now well, we're going. That office side, but we'll go back. It's just easier to go this way. Back through the computer room, and we'll take the main stairs up. First thing we hit is a sliding glass door. It's been smashed, and you can see that's where the turret used to sit. You can see what's going on here with the floor buckling. Literally holes everywhere. This is pretty neat. This is that cup-shaped unit from downstairs. There's the tree of life. That's the brain room. See some wires coming out of there for the security system. And over here downstairs Kitchen. This is a uh, somebody left this behind. A little toolkit, still full of tools. But first rule of urban exploration: take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. You can see the baseball cards laying all over the place. It's like somebody had a field day with baseball cards. They're everywhere. So if you're an, an avid baseball collector, come on down. You can see here, stepping on beer cans and bread. The tree has uh, openings, it looks like for air vents. So he wasn't kidding when he said that there was ventilation in the tree. A little breakfast nook, planter. And then back this way. This goes back into like a little hallway. This is the stairway going up for the kids' room. Kids' children only. And he means it too, that's some tight spaces up there. Here's where you can see that somebody's done some patchwork. Not lately. This is some sort of a little cubby hole. You can see here, last time I came here there were uh, porn magazines everywhere. And there were some kids exploring this place, so I threw them out in the trash. Let's have a look at the kids. Ooh. of you from the portholes up in the kids' room. It's the hotel next door. People in the pool. More I'm saying I do. I don't know if you can see it or not. You can see where that dome out there has been patched.